Okay, I want to make sure this thing is rolling. Uh, let's see, take some notes on there. Hi, I am Roger J. Lon. I'm just taking some notes. And this video is about pride. Pride. Now, pride is not necessarily a bad thing. Uh, take, for instance, uh, I was in the uh, volunteer fire department for 20 years. Uh, I joined at 16. My father encouraged me. He asked me if I wanted to join, and of course I had previous experience from the, you know, being around the, the station and the, the uh, fellow volunteers, and so I was encouraged to join up along with my father and my cousins. And um, what I um, what I enjoyed about the fire department is well, many many uh, things I enjoyed about the fire department, the volunteer fire department. But I learned I learned about pride, pride of uh, company, pride of keeping your station clean and presentable Clyde, uh, pride of keeping your equipment clean presentable and also ready for action also ready for um, uh, to operate um, you know correct properly and safely and that was the most important part is you know we have uh, air pack uh, we have air packs we have our equipment that has to be uh, done properly we want to uh, not just look good but we also want it to function proper and so in our equipment we want our equipment presentable um, when a fire department arrives on the scene of an emergency call and the equipment is clean and uh, it's you know and the, the equipment operates correctly the way it's supposed to and uh, you know I mean imagine a, a fire truck rolling on the scene of a call whether it be a house fire or a car accident and the thing is it looked like it hasn't been washed in months it's got some rust onto it the, the hose is hanging down the crew gets out they're half dressed it's like these people are not on their game you know when we call the fire department whether it's career volunteer we want to make sure they're on their game and so pride of service helps us do that pride of service helps us do that and there's nothing wrong with that it's healthy but the pride that we want to avoid is the pride of, look what I did. Oh, I'm just, uh, and there were, uh, I remember in the fire, in the volunteer fire service, there were a few guys here and there, maybe one or two guys here and there that would join up and they'd be like, oh, I'm the greatest firefighter on the face of the earth. And the officers would say, okay, come here, buddy. Uh, let's have a little talk here. <laughs> and so uh, there's no I in team. And uh, that's one thing. Self-pride can do that. Self-pride, self-pride when you brag, oh, I can do this and I can do that. There's no I in team. We're, we're a company. It's us. Okay, there's a, uh, and firefighters have a expression, have a, a phrase that I used, I used with my daughter as she was growing up. I still use it. Two in, two out. Firefighters go in two in and two out. That's, that's the phrase. Two in, two out. There's no, there's no one. There's no I. There's us. Two in and two out. And uh, I carry that in life. Um, you know, there's a, uh, a, uh, uh, and there's even a Bible verse. One can be conquered, but two can defend themselves. And so, um, so pride can cause you to think, you know, you're, you're, you're prideful, your ego gets big and, uh, oh, I can take, I can uh, put out a burning building all by myself, or I can do this work all by myself. No, and it requires a team. You need a team and te a teamwork is healthy. And, um, and so pride of we had pride of station pride in our uniforms um but it wasn't like uh you know it was a healthy pride that we we enjoy we wanted to look good we, we wanted to feel good about what we did and we were serving and we want um you know we want to show the public that we're on our game that and that uh we care we care about what we do and so so that's the difference is uh you know pride of service pride of service is, is healthy but self-pride we gotta watch that because otherwise we get too much self-pride and oh i do such a good job oh i'm just the greatest i'm loving myself no 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 don't go there um just uh uh pride of service um uh personal pride you know taking care of yourself making sure you look good because not not just to impress people but also it feels good it's it's healthy you know um when you take care of yourself or you dress up once in a while you know i mean hygiene you know the you know uh basic stuff of taking care of yourself um that's healthy it keeps you feeling healthy and uh and clean and um and you you know you it and it, it makes you feel joy joyful about yourself and so uh 
be sure to uh, check but if you enjoyed this video check below uh, there's a subscribe button there somewhere and also uh, I'll have some information uh, where you can find my work where you can uh, find my I have other videos that you can uh, look up I am Roger J Lown this is a write your life channel and uh, like I said there's a uh, there's information below links below this video uh, I might recommend the product I'm not really sure uh, uh, look below, see if there's any products I can I recommend. Um, sometimes I will, sometimes I'll just leave it, you know, very simple. But anyhow, I thank you for watching, and I thank you. I appreciate you, appreciate you for taking the time to watch this video, and I hope it was helpful. And if you found it uh, helpful, and maybe, you know, you'd like somebody else to hear this, um, feel free to, you know, pass it along, share it along. And, like, as I, and I'm going to end this with this. Um, pride of service. Pride of service, pride of duty, uh, pride of what you of what you do, um, because it's it's of service. It's helping people, okay. But uh, personal pride, we want to kind of you know we want to stay humble, be humble. Um, whatever you do, you do it with pride, but you do it with quiet pride. Do it with quiet quiet pride. And uh, if you're doing it like your name is, if you're doing your your tasks like your name is on it, it'll show. And, you know, people will, you know, um, people will, you know, give you a, a, a pat on the shoulder. And also hang around, hang around people who recognize. Um, uh, one thing I want to I add to this real quick is uh, surround yourself with people who recognize what you do. And if you do something that needs a little fine tuning, okay, maybe you need a little correction. Um, surround yourself with people who do it gently, okay? Uh, do it gently, who will say, okay, listen, you have this little flaw about you, but then uh, build them up, okay? Build them up. Uh, we we, we want to be construction, not destruction. We want to be constructive people, not destructive people. And so, and listen, your, your mouth, the words that come out of your mouth, they matter. Be very careful. Um, they're the, the most dangerous weapon. Uh, a human being has, you know, we think of, you know, think, of, I'm not even going to say, just think of the weapons that we're afraid of. The words that come out of our mouth, roll off our tongue, they're, they're like, uh, they're, they're, they're worse, they could be worse than death. Um, so when your words come out, make sure you're building somebody, please make sure you're building somebody. And if you see a, a flaw, okay, address the flaw, but don't leave the person down. Okay. Leave them thank you thank you for being honest but yet being gentle that you didn't you know you, you you know that you didn't you know knock me down on the ground with your words and left me there uh thank you that uh, you gave me some encouraging words and now i know where my because i i've had people tell me oh well you made a mistake here okay thank you i you know because i can't um i don't mind if somebody points out a mistake but show me how to correct it show me uh, i'm all about solutions uh, my dad, you know, Roger J. Lown Sr., he was, uh, he was all about uh, um, whenever there was a problem that presented, he didn't focus on a problem or get, you know, get all out of sorts about it. I, need, I want to find a solution. And that's how I am. And that's what I, that's what I, uh, I teach and I coach. So when you're presented with a problem or somebody says, okay, there's, there's a flaw here that you have, or maybe it's in your work that you have. Okay, show me so I can correct it and so that I can move forward. That's the kind of people you need. Show me what's wrong. Okay, show me what's wrong, but also show me a solution. So show me a solution and help me grow. Okay, that's the word I want, I want to put out there. Help us grow. Help each other grow. So, I thank you for watching. Check below. And I appreciate you listening to this long video. And hope to see you at the next one. All right. Uh, see you. See, uh, uh, look out for the next video. <laughs> thank you. Have a, have a wonderful, blessed day.